This is Twit. Google apparently um, reacting to the 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 backlash to their rigid, or I should say, previously rigid. 90 day we will disclose vulnerabilities whether they've been patched or not policy of project zero has softened their stance in a rather eh, sort of snarky uh, blog posting they start out by substantiating the success of this policy they use adobe as an example uh, talking about how Adobe has managed with all of their multi-platform, multi-reach stuff, uh, the Adobe Flash team has managed to to successfully fix all 37 Project Zero vulnerabilities within the 90-day deadline. Um, and if, but on the other hand, we we see Flash constantly doing uh, out of cycle patches to fix these things. And the problem that we've discussed several times is that Microsoft, because they they really, they really, in, unless it's something dire, have to stick with a 30-day policy with their standard second Tuesday of the month a schedule because, you know, their patches need to be vetted by corporate IT. You know, you could argue that the corporate IT key can just block Flash, but they can't block Windows. They are using Windows, so they have no choice. So, so uh, anyway, so uh, Google says, you know, sort of saying everybody else manages to do this. And then they say, stepping back more generally, talking about the success of their Project Zero, that the 154 Project Zero bugs fixed so far, um, 85% were fixed within 90 days. And then if you further restrict that to essentially half of those, the 73 issues filed and fixed after October 1st of 2014. So that's just, that, that's sort of saying once everyone, you know, once we came up to speed, once everybody fully understood what Project Zero was, that is, you know, the more recent problems, um, that number jumps to 95% of those 73 issues fixed more recently within the 90 days. Um, and then they finally say, furthermore, recent well-discussed deadline misses and they they are in in those phrases they have three links which correspond to the to the, the windows problem and the two os 10 problems they said were typically fixed very quickly after 90 days so what they've done as a consequence i mean so so basically they're saying okay here's where we stand we think we're doing something good for the industry uh, people have improved their responses given Project Zero. That is, the most recent responses have been faster than the earlier ones. The 90-day the, the deadline misses have, have dropped from 85% originally down um, to, to only 5% misses. So 15% misses down to 5% misses. And those that missed were quickly fixed. So, okay, fine, Google. Thank you very much. So now they're saying, um, we've studied the above data. And I love the way they said it. They, said that they, they, they wrote, and taken on board some great debate. Sort of like a small dinghy takes water on board. <laughs> I engineers think. wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> taken on board. They're taken on board some debate. Some great debate and external feedback from uh, uh, around some of the corner cases. These are corner cases, right? Uh, like, did you mean greater than one or greater than or equal to one? Oh, well, we really meant to include the equality case. Okay, good. Uh, for disclosure deadlines, writes Google, we've improved the policy in the following ways. Weekends and holidays. If a deadline is due to expire <laughs> on a weekend oh, or man i know or a us public holiday 
the deadline will be moved to the next normal working day. Okay, so, you know, it's like when the mail is delivered, except you do get mail on Saturdays still, uh, but, you know, not on federal holidays. So if the deadline falls, then they'll bump it. They'll bump it. They'll give you, you know, one or two days extra. Then grace period. We And this is the big one. We now have a 14-day grace period. If a 90-day deadline will expire, but a vendor lets us know before the deadline that a patch is scheduled for release on a specific day. So the vendor's got to come back to Google and say, please, Google, we, we're ready, but we just need some more soup. I mean, we just need two more weeks. Um, if, so if they will allow, if they'll tell Google the specific day within 14 days following the deadline, when the patch will be released, the public disclosure will be delayed until the availability of the patch. Public disclosure, writes Google, of an unpatched issue now only occurs if a deadline will be significantly missed by more than two weeks. And then finally, the last change is Google wasn't dropping their Project Zero stuff into the standard CVE pot, which is maintained by the industry. So the third change is the assignment of CVE um, numbering. Google writes, CVEs are an industry standard for uniquely identifying vulnerabilities. To avoid confusion, it's important that the first public mention of a vulnerability should include a CVE. For vulnerabilities that go past deadline, thus the public disclosure, we'll ensure that a CVE has been pre-assigned. So those are the changes. Basically, it means another two weeks added to the existing 90 days. I kind of understand the need to set a deadline because as they point out, uh, the the three times that we had to re reveal it publicly, it got patched right away. And right. so if you don't set a deadline and you don't reveal it publicly, then companies just drag and drag and drag. But I, there's two things. This first strikes me as some real arrogance on the part of Google. Like, well, we're going to do it right, and obviously these other companies you just don't care. <laughs> and Somehow they have a problem. They have a problem. Uh, I, I think you got to give credit to Microsoft and Apple and uh, whoever else that they do care about security, and they're they're gonna they're gonna try to patch these flaws. Give them some credit. Uh, 